referee's whistle sounds and away we go. So it's a deep restart. It's allowed to bounce. It's once caught on the second time and ran forward by Erin Cole. I think that was Sarah Lovejoy that day. Oh, sorry, yeah. Rolled over on her back. Joy the other and Quinn just reversing to the tackling place. Now it's moved left, still keeping it amongst the forwards. Wales, Jones with that carry. Raiden scheming. Pops it left. Lewis decides to run, has options, puts it further left to Norkit. Norkit's got power and pace, and he's surging through, and she's taking an all-comers, and she's reached the line, but it's been held up thus. Or has she? No, nope. she hasn't. Just for a second, it looked like she'd been held up, but she showed tremendous strength there, did Norkit. And uh, you see her diving down that wing to great aplomb. And I tell you what, she did show some tremendous strength there. She is quick and she is strong. I mean, few of them did well. few of them look a bit uh, guilty going a little bit too high. You've got to get low, you've got to get into them. But yeah, she's so strong though. She plays it quickly. Out on this left-hand yeah, side with Dawn. Dawn for the yes. line. Yes, she's got there. That is the equaliser. That's just what Ireland were looking for. And to be honest, over the balance of the last five minutes, no less than they, they did deserve. Well, I did say she was a big tough runner, tough as teak. First game of rugby league, first try on debut. Fantastic. And we just see this as well on the replay. I initially, a very good tackle there just to prevent, I think it was Costello, picked up quickly out of dummy half. Look at this for strength from Dunn. You're never going to stop me from that with distance. Not from that distance, you're not. No, great try. Ball there. Raiden will continue moving the ball right to Marsh. Marsh linking with Burnell. Burnell trying to get between players. Slips the ball at the tackle. He's now out of on the wing. And Ellery Michael touches down at the corner. That was some brilliant work from Wales, to be honest. Yeah, that was good uh, half-back play by Wales there. They've suckered us in there. We've, we've, we've rushed in. We've cut in. And uh, left us wide open on the wing. Have a look at this again. I mean, it was superb interplay. First of all, with Marsh, who's looked prominent down this right-hand this side. Ball. Links with Burnell. Burnell's between two defenders and somebody manages to slip the ball out to Goff Walters and there was no panic from Walters. Knew she had to ship it into the arms of her winger and Ellery Michael does the rest and adds the points. The Wales half the field. Last tackle has been reached. Where's Greenwood? She's got the ball now. Dabs it over the top. There's a real solid chase on this one. Oh, and the bounce just evaded Carroll and it's kicked forward by Greenwood. Beautiful Still storm. the chasing on. Oh, and it will be dropped on. Try. Is this going to be given? Thank yes, you, it is. Lambert scoring. We're all level, eight points each. Doesn't matter how they come in the end. They all count for four points. Bit scrappy, bit scruffy, but opportunity knocks and then goes Lambert for the try. Fantastic. It was a brilliant kick over the top initially, to be fair. That's the danger, laying the ball but bounce. You lay it bounce at your peril. And then it was kicked on again by Greenwood. And she's only got the slightest of looks, hasn't she? What's going on? to that right-hand side. Yeah, Again, no the bounce no. just evades everybody. And Lambert in the right place at the right time. I tell you what, that's a brave challenge. It's a head-eye shot. You know, if I'm being honest, is he giving the try? He is giving a try. That was a really quick tap. Wow. Excellent play from Greenwood. What smart play, what smart play. She just decided, I'm going here, and we were looking at each other just for a second, half expecting the referee to bring it back. But fair play to... Greenwood here, she just went straight to the mark the referee had set and just went straight through as Lewis was looking up at him. In the background with that particular drive, Raiden picks about a dummy half. It's a rare dat, bat, dat. I was going to say badge and darts. I got mixed up between the two words. Yeah, but he's penalised again though for a high tackle. It's back-to-back uh, -back penalties. Lewis fancies a quick one. She gets oh. over as well. Well, I said that the skipper can just suddenly turn on a play or two and she's come up with the tap penalty exactly like her opposite number. A little bit closer. And that was where the penalty was given. Quick as you like. She's badged away between two defenders there. Strong play on the line. Meters away from the line. McCusker will push it right. There's Quinn. Right amongst the heavy traffic. Yeah, route one for Quinn every time. Kuska, this time puts it right. 
Great, oh, great ball. ball. What a super pass that was from Greenwood. And Storm Cobain has just stormed right through the defence. Oh, there's nothing better than having one of your middles run a really good straight line and your half just feeds them. It, it's unstoppable. Look at this. I mean, Quinn's all wrapped up. You'll see McCusker at dummy half knowing exactly where she wants to put this ball. Greenwood's already, already laid out the play, to be fair. She knows exactly what's on here. Look at that. Brilliant ball. Run into spaces, not into faces. She'll stand and play this. And it's moved left. Lewis just ducks the defence. Ah. Oh, she's managed to get her way through. Brilliant work from Lewis. Yeah, it was a good try. She's gone through. She spotted the gap there. She's seen that Sifonia's uh, off a line quick and she just stepped inside her. Absolutely inspirational stuff from the skipper. I don't know whether we've been able to say this before, but she's in both the uh, Wales Rugby League lineup, as we can see this afternoon. Marsh is struggling in the background. It comes left to Paige Costello, goes further wide to Steph Carroll. Carroll still going, and Go still Steph. going, and still going, and Carroll all the way! Has she got there? No, she hasn't. Just shy of the line. McCusker wanting this ball to be played quickly. Shuffles it into the hands yes. of Greenwood. Low yes. ball, and they are in this time, Ireland. Alex McGuinness at the side of the post, piercing through the defence. What good play. Oh, it's, it's that simple play again. Stacey's so smart, she's lined her up straight away. Where's my runner? Where's my runner? I'm bouncing before she's even passed the ball. I could see the gap just opened up, Dave. It was fantastic. Great play off Stacey Greenwood. Great try off Alex McGuinness. And just enjoy this. What a pass again. She's come out with two real quality passes there, Greenwood. And like you said, the simple plays. There's not As we push left to Lewis. Lewis for Monday. Monday gets oh, it out. Here's oh. knock it. Knock it to the line. Knock it crosses. We've got a game on again into the last few minutes. Lowry knock it, scoring her second try of the game. You can add that to her 14 tries that she scored domestically. She's been unplayable at times. Yeah, I only said at the start of the half, didn't that? The anti oh, sorry, the half time that the anti attack down the left edge, and then up they come. They've been down this edge a few times, and uh, there you go, result. Superb offload from Charlie. To the left hand side, it's moved. Fion Jones Crossing again. runs behind Monday. It's Links with Norkit. Norkit out to the winger on this side, which is Rebecca Davis. Two metres out to the line. Picked up by Lewis. Has she got in? She has, you know. The Welsh skipper has done it. She's gone in. Wales racing to celebrate. The kick's still to come. There's still time on the board. Yeah, I think there's some debut though. Uh, Stacey Green was not happy. She's uh, she's remonstrating, I think, with the referee. Is the best way to say it. Uh, but I couldn't see. Well, I said she's a player for the occasion. Is Lewis? Just kept herself really low. Time in the world. No, she needs good contact. Nope. And it's not going to be a goal. That's and the Hooter sounds. Yes. It's full time. It's victory for Ireland by 26 points to 24. Uh, Stuart, I know you'll love to run down there and celebrate with your team, but give us your player of the game. Uh, listen, it's got to be Stacey Greenwood all day long. I, I don't want to call her the old campaigner because she's not. She's a classic great footballer. And I think she's led our team around the park. She's passionate. She's skillful. She's set up the majority of our plays and she's she gave us the win basically and every credit to the uh, every girl what's been on that park today i think they've done island proud i think the game's been fantastic